there are chemicals within the building that we're concerned with. And we continue to follow developing news from a hazmat situation in Meriden. Emergency crews spent hours at a fire inside a business filled with dangerous chemicals. It all happened on Pratt Street, and that's where we find Channel 3 New Haven Bureau Chief Matt McFarlane. Matt, what's the latest there? Well, Aaron and Patricia, Pratt Street is back open. Behind me, you can see CRC Chrome here. Uh, that is the building that fire crews were focusing their attention on all day. Getting the fire out took quite some time since we're dealing with so many chemicals, but investigators now have a pretty good idea of how it all started. With smoke rising above downtown Meriden and dozens of firefighters racing to the scene, Anthony Ramos watched the chaos unfold from his front steps. We've seen two guys and they were like burnt up on the arms and their back. So, you know, it was pretty serious. Firefighters rushed to CRC Chrome, a chrome plating company on Pratt Street just before 11 this morning after a flash fire sent two workers to Bridgeport Hospital's burn unit. They have quite a few uh, chemicals in there, including acids, etc. Um, so those are the, the ones that we're concerned with, the ones that are really toxic. According to investigators, employees dumped lacquer into a heated rinse tank, causing a reaction that flashed over the side, injuring the two workers and causing the roof to catch fire, with the flames then moving through the walls. Meriden's fire chief tells us the fire quickly went to a third alarm with the New Haven Area Special Hazards Team, mutual aid from seven different cities and towns, along with the Department of Energy and Environmental Protection all responding to help with the chemicals, which made this a tricky fire to fight. With something like this, since we're not 100% sure what chemicals could react with the water or how they're going to react, we have to be very careful about where we where we put water, how much we put there. Fortunately, fire crews covered the tanks with tarps, preventing any of the acid gas from being released. By late afternoon, the fire was out as crews just worked to clean up. Ramos, who works in construction, says he knows about the danger of doing a job and just wanting to get back to your family each night. So his thoughts are with the two men who were hurt today. We go to work, we go, you know, earn our income and take care of ourselves. But at the end of the day, we still have a family we got to get to. And so, like I said, I hope those who were injured, I hope they're okay. Now, DEEP, they were out here monitoring the air in the neighborhood for the presence of acid gas. Fortunately, they tell us that they did not detect any. We're live with the Mobile Newsroom in Meriden. Matt McFarland, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.